family used to work at the winery in Mexico, and I grew up around my father, uncles, or relatives, and and just fall in love with the process. And I came down to Temecula, and I was having a nice lunch at uh, back then Culbertson Winery. Someone asked me what we were doing, my wife and I. I said, "Well, I'm looking for a job," and she ran into the winery, telling, "Looking for John." He was looking for an assistant at that time, and I guess I came at the right time. That's really it. It was all <laughs> one day, right time, right place. Everything was, was going on, and it was fast friendship, and just it's been, you know, been a great working relationship ever since. Our first harvest, John? <laughs> kind of well, yeah. 2003 was. Oh my God, we got pictures of that. That was a harvest. We had equipment on stilts, and it, it was it was crazy. Yeah, that first <laughs> harvest was. Uh... After we passed that harvest, I said, we can make wine here in Temecula. We can make wine anywhere. <laughs> anywhere. Golden State Winery of the Year. It's something that, it's a title. It's something that um, does, like I say, validate everything that you've done for the past year in respect to winemaking. Uh, so me being part of the winemaking team that was able to get that, it, it's, it, I'm very proud. That, that's, that's probably the best thing for me to say. I'm, I'm very proud. Um, when you're good at something and you enjoy it, it's, it's, it's nothing, you know, it's, uh, it's all part of uh, the process for us. Mm -hmm. I always joke that he's, he's uh, Mr. Spock and I'm Captain Kirk. I'm always a <laughs> guy ready to blow up things and do crazy things and he, you know, keeps it in perspective and always makes sure that uh, we, you know, think about things sometimes before we leap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>